Can you guys believe that this girl's been on the farm for three whole months? She just had her vet appointment and she got additional vaccinations and of course they have to weigh her. She's 36 pounds. Molly, she's two years old and she's 90 pounds and she's pretty well fully grown, but Olive, she's growing like a weed. Hey kiddo. A few months ago, Olive was given to us by one of our YouTube viewers, and she arrived on the farm and was a little timid, a little scared. She was in a new place, new surroundings, new data, new dog around, and she needed time to adjust. She needed time to get settled in. And she's doing great on the farm. She was given to us by a viewer, I don't know, about a month ago. And she's just getting accustomed to us and she's getting accustomed to the farm. Olive soon realized that it was in her best interest to stay close to the big girl, Molly. After all, she was her new big sister. And after that, the two of them were inseparable. As Olive continued to explore the farm, Molly always had a close eye and wasn't too far off. After all, Molly too realizes that she has a new baby sister, a new best friend for life. We toured around the Let's farm go. so that she could get to know all the nooks and crannies, all the areas to hide in, and all the areas to get out of the weather. Olive's relationship with the cats has been a rough go from the start. The cats don't tolerate nonsense and Olive just wants to play. You okay? Olive's learned to keep her distance Dexter? from the claw crew you okay, because, buddy? you know, they can be quite nasty and give her head swats and whatnot. Olive, but what's on your nose? For the most part, she's What's learning. on your nose? But her relationship with Maggie Mae Barncat has blossomed. It has blossomed into something very sweet and lovely. And the two of them now have a really good, friendly, sweet relationship. We started a training regiment for Olive and she's doing quite well. She's learned basically how to sit and how to lie down and she gives high fives She's still having a little trouble with the stay command, but we're working on it. She certainly does love belly rubs. Not Lie all down. of it is glorious though. Lie we down. do have our mishaps Lie and down. sometimes it's difficult to hey. keep her attention on me. Her bunny training is ongoing. She still has a tendency to want to chase them. It's difficult to break that habit, but if the rabbits just stay put, she's fine. But if the rabbits run, she runs. <laughs> We're still working on it. Although she did rather well with the chooks, you know, she didn't chase them too much. As long as the chickens didn't make any fluttering flying away sounds, she was okay. The duck training has proven difficult. She still needs to mature and she still needs to show a lot more patience before I can let her run loose in the duck pen again. That's no. Come here. Come here. Olive. Olive. You're going to give the ducks a heart attack. That probably wasn't a good idea. The ducks are freaking out. And that's on me. But I'm just trying to introduce her to get used to the sounds of the farm, eh? But she's going to need a bit more time, a bit more training. Olive has adjusted incredibly well to the farm and she gets along amazingly with her big sister, Molly. It's quite incredible to watch happen before your eyes. 
She's gotten so big, so fast, she's almost caught up to Molly's size. We've really enjoyed having Olive on the farm, and Molly especially has really enjoyed having a little sister. They get along so well, and it's nice to see the two of them frolicking and playing and horsing around, and it's so lovely to witness. These dogs are trying to get me in shape, you know. <laughs> They're always keeping me on my toes. <laughs> Olive always takes the lead up a front, <laughs> and Molly always checks the rear, you know. It's like Olive is on point, and she's clean up. <laughs> they love going on hikes though. I've been teaching Olive to be comfortable in the trails inside our forest. Because at first she was a little timid, almost like going into an unknown territory. She was a little bit scared. As she's maturing, she's okay with it now. But she still always looks back to make sure I'm there with her. Olive, stay on the path. Come. Come here. Stay on the path, okay? Okay, girls? Stay on the path. Since starting her rabbit training, Olive has shown incredible patience. She still has a long way to go, but Olive. she's doing really Hi. well. You can see that she's still chasing him a little bit, but she's really improved. She's really improved. She really only wants to chase him when they start running away, then she's on. But if they're just standing there, she's doing really good. I'm really proud of her. Proud of you. Olive sure does love life at the farm. She's learned a lot from her big sister Molly. Molly taught her where to hide. Molly taught her where to find shade. Molly taught her turn? where to drink the water out of the buckets. Huh. Molly taught her how to hide underneath the workshop. And she taught her how to dig down and find cold soil. Yeah, Molly really taught her a lot. She's a really sweet puppy, Olive, just like Molly. I think it's just the breed, the old English sheepdog breed. They're just very sweet natured. High five. Yeah, high five, high five, high five, high five, high five, high five. Yeah, yes, yes. Overall, Olive is absolutely loving life at the farm. She brings something special to the farm every day. She's getting along great with Molly. Couldn't have asked for a better pair of Old English Sheepdogs. If you haven't already, you just gotta check out this video of when Olive first arrives to the farm. This is the day that the YouTube viewer dropped her off. And man, it's something to watch. I explain the whole story of how this all came about and how Olive found a new home on our farm. <laughs> 